Alright, so in this one, we are going to be going over a box showcase, account showcase, whatever you want to call this, of, well, my account. So if you look here, 784 days logged in, characters owned 381, highest battle rank 50, obviously, highest rating points reach 29.1k. I believe that was during the triple RP season with the Golden Showdown. I was going for 30k RP, I think this was like, what, top... 80, 60, something like that when I got this 29.1k. And I was just going for 30 cows. Like, you're not getting enough points. It was the last day of season. I pushed from like 25 to 29k that season. I was like, all right, fuck this. That day, I was like, all right, I'm done. I was top whatever, you know, top 100 something. And I was like, you know what? Just take our W. Total wins 19.5k wins. That's a lot of matches for 784 days. Could do the math on that actually. Huh? I want to do the math on that real quick. Hold on. Let's see. How many matches is that per day? Let me... Shit. Where's it calculated? Hold on. I'm going to... Yeah. Hold on one second here. Uh, as we go through more stuff while I download this. 333 good skills. You know. Sometimes I run cancer teams. Sometimes I run toxic stuff. So sending good skills is always appreciated. Love it very much. Okay. Let me download this calculator app. Because I can't do the math off the top of my head. But good parties, 874. Typically, good parties are more toxic than good skills. Uh, personally, I like getting good skills more than good parties. Just because people really don't send them. Because good parties like, oh, you're running such a broken team. Good job, man. You're really good at the game. But in reality, it's just like, you know, whatever. Okay, let me do the math. So, 19,513 divided by 784. So that means I play approximately 25 matches a day, because that's 24.8. So approximately, I play 25 matches a day of PvP. That's completely inaccurate, at least a lot more recently. Uh, this is probably from when I first started. I played a lot, a lot, a lot. Like, my first, I think, first season of playing this game, of like downloading it, I was top 10k. And that means you got to play a lot to learn it, you know, from just downloading the damn game, right? So, 25 matches a day for 784 days. It's more probably like, some days it was like 90 matches, and then next day is like 10. You know what I mean? So, and I used to push for top ranks a lot. Now I don't really care because I have to record and I'm not going to sweat in top ranks with goddamn Ramon, right? Then Good Games is 2081. Pretty high. Uh, I think that's a decent amount, right? For amount of fucking matches played. It's a 10 to 1 ratio. You know, over 10 to 1. So I'll take that. Story's cleared. I think that's just the events. Uh, i just done a lot of events because I've been playing since the week before first anniversary, first anniversary started is when I downloaded the game, right? So if we look here at my account, just sort by power level, um, I think majority of the Zenkais here are soul boosted. I think maybe some of them aren't. Uh, we'll actually go through right here to look because I am curious at this point, right? So everyone up here is soul boosted, soul boosted. This name of Goku isn't because I'm not going to run him. Gohan, uh, not really. Gotenks, I didn't care enough. I think you're... What is 484? 88. Is that Zenkai 3 Soul Boost or no? No, it's just Zenkai 1. Okay. So yeah, I don't Zenkai uh, Soul Boost characters until they're, you know, Zenkai 7, typically. Everyone else here is Zenkai 7 fully Soul Boosted. If you look, 864 out of everyone here. Just want to make sure I'm actually not missing any because if I am, that'd be embarrassing. Uh, to even continue looking, just this name of Goku's not worth running, so I'm not going to soul boost him. Gotenks, I didn't form his souls when his event came, so I didn't care enough about him. Uh, Android 18, obviously only Zenkai 1, Cell, Zenkai 5. Then I think I might have some others. Yeah, Piccolo, I haven't even run him, so I didn't soul boost him. And then besides that, I think that's all. Yeah, so we go back to power level. Look at my account from essentially the greatest units to the worst units. And I know Goresh did a video like this uh, a few days ago or a day ago. I'm not sure. I just saw it like, you know, on Twitter. Uh, you know, third anniversary just ended. Showcase your account. Show off your account. Show off what you got, what you have, what you own, all of that. So power level, not too terrible. I mean, it is all Zenkai's on top. If we just scroll through real quick, everyone else besides that. Ginyu is actually pretty low. For an EX Zenkai. Wow. He's actually really low and he's fully done. Okay. Interesting. Oh, well, the cell's really low. Oh, never mind. These EX Zenkais are low, low. Ultras are really high. Holy shit. Damn. 
Ultra Goku up there with the Zenkais. And damn it, well, he's a transforming unit. I guess that makes sense. Thing of Jiren, you know, Frieza, the second anniversary units, they gave very high power levels for whatever reason. Um, all these other units, the free-to-play Goku's here. Uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, again, first anniversary. They give these anniversary units very high power levels. Not entirely sure the reasoning behind that. Don't think it actually does anything for the unit specifically, but, you know, it'd be like that. Bojack's pretty high for a transforming unit, actually. That's actually pretty high. Yeah, that, oh, that's impressive. Wow. To go down more, though, this is just the entire thing going through quickly. Then the units I am missing. EX Baby, he was only on the Super Saiyan 4 GT Goku banner, the LF one. Uh, Namek, Goku, Frieza. I went 30k on the banner, didn't pull either of them. Then, obviously, um, Orlin, that's his name. I kept saying Ornell in the other video. Orlin, uh, Nanaba, Nabana, whatever. Hey, I, I really like that art. Holy shit. Wow. Uh, Nabana, uh, Robbery, and then Bulma, because, you know, a thousand days, I'm only at 784. Not there yet. But to look at Limit Breaks, to see my whale status, I guess, or my non-whale status, however you, you know, perceive it. Obviously, it's just heroes. I'm actually going to sort by Sparkings here, so you guys can see the important characters, then Extremes. So, Limit Break, as you can see, a lot of 14 stars, you know. Not, is this in order? Is this in order from when I started? I guess it is, huh? Maybe. This feels like it's in order. Because I pulled a lot of random shit, just random times. Because I started, again, uh, almost a year in, right? Yeah, uh, a lot of 14 stars. I'm assuming it ends, yeah, it ends right here with Vegeta. And then, obviously, a lot of 13, 12. Not everything's going to be maxed out. Again, starting late does have that problem for you, you know, quote-unquote problem. But it doesn't matter that much. At least having a unit at 7 stars is all I really care about. Then we look all the way down here at probably the worst part of the list, even though everything is almost 7 stars. Uh, from Kefla on, I just don't care. Gogeta Blue, I'll try to 6 star him, you know, from this ticket summons that I'll do. Might even do one in this video, actually. Future Gohan, you know, get him up when he comes back. Kid Buu, same thing. Super Saiyan 4 Goku, don't care. And Merge Masu, don't necessarily care about. But everyone else above here, I'm pretty happy and content with. Having every single sparking at least 7 stars means I can Zenkai every single sparking in the entire game when they do get their Zenkai Awakening. So I will take that. Then to look at some extremes real quick. Again, and just everything we own. To look a little more down, the non-14 stars start right here. With Boo, Shugesh, Borgos, all that. Apologize if there's background noise, by the way. Then just keep going. I don't know why they put ultras when I sort it by extreme. Like, I understand they don't have their own, like, tag, but I don't know why they put that there. I apologize for the background noise. It's very, very, very tedious. Should be done by now. Okay, continuing. Uh, the newer units, you know, Go Tank, Super 17, uh, Baby, Zanya, Bido, Bujin, and Rose, all almost three stars, besides, obviously, Rose here, who I just don't care enough Z power. Because I don't run future. Uh, this Goku Black returned a few times, even though he's pretty new. Trunks as well. Goku, I got to six from Z Power. Uh, you know, he's actually worth it. So, figured, why not do it, right? And then to look at everything in totality, you just scroll up and down real quick, see everything as we go, and then just see the worst of the worst at the bottom being the EXs and the LF units. But, with the summon I just mentioned in my head, I'm actually just going to do one. Fuck it. Uh, let's try to pull Gogeta Blue. I want to six-star him. Yeah, I said I'd do these sporadically. Uh, these, you know, three multis. Because they don't warrant their own video, right? Like, I don't care enough to fucking... Oh, here's a, you know, six-minute video of me doing three multis. Like, who cares? Who wants to see that? That's nothing. I want to, you know, content with it. Give me Broly animation? I'll never get a Broly animation, even on a guaranteed LF banner, huh? That's just rough but yeah gogeta blue is the prime target there's no other target for me honestly so that's all i care about actually you're not 14 i'll take that yeah you're not 14 i'll take that i guess oh another lf i think you're almost 14 now i'll take all right that vegeta is also not 14 you're not 14 i think you're i think you are actually i pulled you last multi please stop you're 14 and then lf right here no, right here. LF is going to be Gogeta Blue! Really? 
Well, thank you. Is he? Oh, he's one off 14. Well, if he ever gets his Zenkai, like I've been predicting for the last <laughs> couple of damn weeks, almost a month at this point, um, that he's going to be almost 14. He'll get health Z ability uh, when he is 14. So I'll take that for Fusion Warriors. Also, a side note, the thing that I don't think anybody really has ever mentioned since I've been playing this game. I, you know, I just thought of it with that health Z ability. They took off a Z ability on a unit. And I don't know if they ever put it in the news, if they ever say anything about it. This Android 18, I remember when she released, she had the Z ability at 14 stars of health. I remember because it was Super Vegito who had the first health triple Z ability, or the triple Z ability in general, right? This Android 18, on release, I don't know when it changed. She had girls or Android, strike and blast defense, and health. Then they removed it. I don't know when, but they did remove it. I remember seeing it because I was always like, why the fuck does she have it? And they removed it. I don't know if anyone else has ever noticed it, but yeah. That was a thing. I don't know why they removed it from her. I guess they thought androids could have been too good at the time, given they weren't any, like, hot shit. But, yeah. To go over other stuff, uh, my equipment, I guess, because that is also part of my account. Couple Z pluses. I sort by, you know, highest to lowest. So, my Z plus for LF Rosé, basically, for Vados, uh, Shampa, God, you know, God Destruction, or Angel Units, basically, is what this is for. This is for... What? Super Saiyan 4 units? Yeah, Super Saiyan 4s. Red melee types. Very good equipment. Probably my most proud equipment. And not because it's necessarily the greatest, but because of how quick I got it. Would be this equipment. Because this equipment's very good. Uh, that's a high number for a strike attack. Uh, special move, ultimate damage, you know. And then blast defense. I had this equipment probably two rerolls. Got it to Z. I was like, alright, not doing that middle slot. Just keeping it there. There's a lot of Zs I could get Z plus here, obviously. I have like a double uh, double gold green slot. I could Z plus right there. This one I could Z plus. This one. All these random ones. I don't really care for Z plus. Unless it's like a really cool equipment. Like I just like LF Rose, so I like getting his equipment Z plus. This, when the system converted over to Z plus being added, this was actually my first ever Z plus that was not free. Because it converted from Z to Z plus, like through an update. And this was actually, I guess, worth a Z+. Plus. I never re-rolled this. It was just automatically into a Z+, Plus when they added Z+, pluses into the game. Uh, these triple hybrid equips, you know, these are very good equips. Probably the, one of the best equips in the game. Along with this one I use on the Frieza Force team, wherever it is. You know what I'm talking about, though. This, this one right here. It's basically the same thing, uh, just for hybrid units. Because if you look at it, it just goes up to 8% instead of 7%. For hybrid units, it's very good. I recommend it if you run a hybrid team at all and put it on every single battle, me battle member you use. Getting at least three would be ideal, if not six. Then have some LF equipment to add Z. You know, Majin Vegeta, LF Frieza, LF Piccolo. I believe I have LF Super Vegitos at Z as well. Right there. Uh, I thought I had one more. No? No, I guess not. Uh, I have two of these at Z. You know, very good for Goku's get advantage uh, recovery back. Then we just go down, have some Awakened Equips. I really don't care about Awakened Equips, personally. I know they're a lot better than just normal Equips, but it's just tedious to go in and out, in and out, in and out, and try to Awaken every single goddamn Equip. I did this one for the Ultimate Chatsu, and I got, you know, uh, almost a Z. I could re-roll this, probably. And, like, perfect slot this, and perfect slot this, and get a Z of it. I don't care, personally. I just did it more because it was funny. Then keep going, have some of the plats just at S. I don't care to re-roll them. They're just really difficult, so I just keep them at S. Uh, the EX equipment, always have a couple of those. Friendship equipment, I don't care to Z because they're just tedious. So I just keep them all at A with the red slot. And then just keep going, some Terminator Power equips. Again, don't care enough to re-roll. Actually, I haven't even touched Terminator Power. I could show you guys my ranking in it like from last season, but that's about all I can show for that. If we could load up here real quick and yeah, i should start doing this this week uh but yeah to look i am z tier uh z league whatever how do i go yeah, last season your rank what wait what oh i meant to click z whoops i didn't even i've never done this part so hold on a second i think i was like top two th two thousand i think no three oh that was bad holy shit but yeah, i used movies last season um I think regen's usually the best, or hybrids. I don't really 
no i just kind of click shit randomly i'm just like all right cool uh let's just see how it goes and you know i use zenkai's for it because i think zenkai's just tank better um this team i think died like two units out of everything and i healed you know probably like once or twice so if you want like an in-depth thing of tournament power i got no clue to help you there unfortunately uh what else is there really not much else i guess i could show you guys the guild if you're not part of it this is just a guild with everyone that you know i put up a thing having the guild id i said join if you watch the channel people join that watch the channel and then here we are nothing impressive don't really care about points just kind of you know let it go as it goes right and then probably the last thing we could check out here are all my sleeves of all the zenkai units probably missing about like three two two um this one i could get by you know if i re-roll the counts use my friend id code if i had you guys use the code i could get this but i'm only missing two sleeves here with android 18 who i will never zenkai 7 unless her daily thing returns like you know very often then i'll get her done but like on my own terms, I'll never do it. And then all these sleeves here of every other Zenkai in the entire game. Just to show you all of them off in case you're like, hey, I want to Zenkai that guy because his sleeves look cool. Yes, you can do such. Default sleeves probably are the worst things in the game. Thank God they fucking changed that because I hate looking at nothing. Now I like looking at a stupid ass image of my character that's shitting on an opponent. But yeah, all those sleeves, I believe these, you can't. I don't think you can run these sleeves if you don't own the unit. So let's say you can buy this from the co-op exchange shop. But you can't use these sleeves unless you have Gogeta add Zenkai 3, right? I believe that's how that works. Again, I don't know personally because I, you know, I have them all Zenkai'd. But yeah, uh, I guess we can check out titles too. Uh, all my rating match titles here, you know, so you don't, so you know I'm not like a bullshitter, I guess. Uh, I play a lot, right? I didn't do Golden Showdown number two. What? For shame. Wow. What a scrub. Oh, well. But yeah, all my titles. Uh, top Cut is... What is Top Cut? Top Cut's Top 1K? 3K? Whatever it is. Um, got all of those. Prize winner. I don't think I cared about this season. Yeah. A lot of these are just Top 3 to 1K seasons that I was just like, okay, let's just play, play, play. Oh, I didn't care about Golden Showdown number 2, huh? No, I guess. Oh, well. And then to look at everything overall... Had a guild that was in, what were we? I think we were like top 30 during this season of the, you know, guild battle in 2020. Then this one for the refer referral code. And then all these story event missions, you know, Thousand Days of Legends when it came around with, uh, what's his face? Angel Vegeta. Wait, was that Angel Vegeta? I think Angel Vegeta and Bulma and Kid Buu were all like around the same time when they dropped. Hoi Poi stuff for a thousand Hoi Poi, second anniversary title, wherever the first anniversary title is, I probably passed it. Then all those for doing like certain things like uh, beating co-ops. Uh, again, just a lot of random shit. You know, I don't really care about these other titles. Hoi, or I was going to say Hoi Poi. Mochi Lover is a really nice title to have. If you have that, I recommend using that. It looks very pretty. And then all this shit like, um, you know, I don't even know what you have to do. Get Zenny, uh doki bakis do this many strikes do that many blasts whatever where's the first anniversary title i pass it third anniversary where's the first anniversary one i like the first anniversary title it looks very simple i like how easy yeah there it is that looks cool challenge rush remember when that came around now we got nothing for challenges in this game <laughs> pvp is a challenge to fucking play but besides that not really many challenges kakarot stuff you had to do a lot of energy to get that one i remember that but yeah, all this, uh, just to show my account, uh, let me know you guys think of my account, if you guys think it's mid, good, bad, could be better, you know, I could have had a lot more 14 stars if I went deeper on banners, but for what it is, I enjoy it, uh, I don't think it's too shabby, it could be a little bit, you know, amped up with the equipment and all that, but again, I think it's alright, let me know you guys think, show me your accounts on Twitter, or Discord, join Discord if you haven't already in description, or just show me it on Twitter, compare accounts maybe if you'd like to. And yeah, if you're wondering why uh, Ramon is there if you didn't watch the 1pm with ex 3 Gohan, because Zenkai buff, that's why. So if you're wondering why the fuck is that your team, it, I'm just Zenkai buffing, don't, don't worry. But yeah, uh, that's my account, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next one.